Hi, my name is Joan Kerr and I'm here from Atlanta, Georgia, visiting my sister in Connecticut this weekend. And while I'm here, I'm going to show my sister and her friend how to cook a Polish dish called gołąbki. I'm Ann Simpkinson, online managing editor at Guideposts. I'm at my cottage this weekend with my little sister, who's a much better cook than I am. She's especially good at cooking traditional Polish dishes, so today she's teaching my friend Karen and me how to make stuffed cabbage rolls, Polish style. Hi, I'm Karen, and I'm Ann's friend. We've been friends since kindergarten, and I came over today to learn how to make gołąbkis. I'm Polish, but I never learned how to make gołąbkis, so here's my big chance. One whole head of cabbage, one onion chopped, two tablespoons of oil, one and one half pounds ground beef, one half pound ground fresh pork, one and a half cups cooked rice, one teaspoon of salt, one quarter teaspoon of pepper, and two cans of condensed tomato soup. I'm chopping up the onion, preparing to add it to our meat mixture. So Joni, what are you doing now? I'm going to cut this so I can get the leaves off nice and intact. And that will make our leaves to roll the, the meat mixture. These are cooking up very nicely. Maybe you just want to stir it a little bit. Really the important, important part is getting all your ingredients together and rolling the cabbage. It's already coming apart. Mm -hmm. How long do you have to boil the cabbage? For five minutes. So we'll boil that up. We'll wait till it starts boiling again and boil it for five minutes. Just want to loosen up the leaves. Okay, so you want to get one and a half cups of rice. Um, I'm just gonna eyeball this and count that for one and, and one half. Now this is optional. This is something that I forgot, but my mother used to always do. Um, it, the egg holds the rice and the meat um, together so it doesn't fall apart as much. So I'm just going to uh, break an egg into here and um, go ahead and add the onions that we cooked up. Now this is the fun part. Don't be afraid to just mix all the rice and the meat, the egg together. Pour off the water. Let's grab the cabbage. Oh, that's nice and cooked. I'm going to start separating the leaves off. You got to do this very gently. Just the leaves will peel right off. Oh, these are going to be nice. They're going to look great. So you're going to chop up the core of the cabbage? The core of the cabbage, yeah, we'll chop this and this up. And where will you put it? Uh, I'm going to lay it on the bottom of the, of the cooking pot so the gawumki aren't sitting right on the bottom. It's going to make a little bed of cabbage. And you're supposed to take a good uh, heaping tablespoon um, of mixture and just put it in your hand and you want to just make it like Kind of make it like you would make a meatball. And then just put this mixture there and just proceed to roll it. I got a lot of meat mixture. I'm gonna do that and then that, fold it over and voila. So Joni, why don't you explain why they're called gawumpki? Gawumpki. Well, you were telling me that you were telling me that it comes from the word gowump. Goem. Goem, which is means pigeon in Polish. And I think that 
I think that it was probably because the shape of the Gowumpi looked like a little, like a little shape of a pigeon, the belly of a pigeon or something. Yep. I also have the rest of this cabbage, so I like to just put a little bit of cabbage on top here, so just not to waste it. Kind of looks nice on top there. And there you have it, the roll cabbage, and we'll get on to the next step, which is adding the tomato soup. We don't have a pitcher here in the cottage, so I'll just take that, add the cup of water, and mix the soup. There you have it, Gawumki. We're going to put this on the stove, turn on medium heat, bring it to a boil, and then continue to cook it for one and one half hours. It's been about an hour and a half and I'm checking the Gawumki to see if they're done. Mmm, they smell delicious. Welcome! Here we are. Welcome, guys. Camera. Welcome! Yak shimash pan! Where's these three wild Polish women at? <laughs> <laughs> Australia! <laughs>